In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to connect your Chromebook to the internet using your phone's hotspot. So, if you're using your Chromebook somewhere out of the house where there's no Wi-Fi available, but you have your phone and your phone has phone reception, you can actually connect your Chromebook to your phone and then use your phone's internet connection on your Chromebook. Before you go ahead and do this, you will want to keep in mind that you will be using your phone's data plan, so you'll want to be mindful of how much you use this because depending on your provider, you'll probably have a data cap of how much data you can use in a month. And if you go over that, you'll often get charged with fairly high fees for any extra you use. Most data caps these days are actually fairly generous, so as long as you're not doing anything super crazy on your Chromebook, you'll probably be fine, but it's just something you want to keep in mind whenever you use your phone as a hotspot. But with that out of the way, the first thing you'll need to do is go on your phone and set up the hotspot and turn it on if you haven't already. Whenever you turn your hotspot on on your phone, your phone will actually create its own Wi-Fi network that other devices can connect to. So before you turn this on, you probably want to go into the settings and look at the network name and the network password and stuff of your phone's own Wi-Fi network. So Timmy's going to show you how to do this on Android first, but Timmy will also show you how it's done on an iPhone in a minute. So if you have an iPhone, you can skip ahead to that. But on Android, you'll need to open up the settings app and you can do this any way you want, but Timmy's just going to pull up the app drawer and find the settings app and tap on it there. But if you have a different way you prefer to open the settings app, you can do that way. And now in the settings app, it'll actually look a bit different depending on what phone you have. So as you can see here, Timmy has a Google Pixel and a Samsung phone, and they both look a bit different in the settings app. And if you have a completely different brand, it might look a little bit different again. But most of the options are pretty much the same thing, so you should be able to follow along. As you'll see here, the top option, or maybe the second option or something, should be something like network and internet or connections. So just find whatever option that is on your phone and tap on that. And now in this menu here, you need to look for hotspot and tethering or mobile hotspot and tethering or something like that. So just find that option and tap on that. And now in this menu, you'll need to find either Wi-Fi hotspot or mobile hotspot or something like that. And just choose that option to go in here. And now you'll be in the settings page for your phone's hotspot. So as you can see here, we have the hotspot name. So that is the network name of the Wi-Fi network that your phone is going to broadcast. So by default, it's probably going to be the name of the phone. So it says Pixel 7 Pro here. But if you don't like that and you actually want to have a more custom or personal name, you can actually just tap on the name here and delete that and type in a different name. So you could do something like or whatever you want, and then just tap OK. And now that will be your phone's new network name. And again, this might be a bit different depending on the device. As you can see here, over on the Samsung phone, you actually can't tap on the name to edit it. You have to tap this configure button down here, and then you can change the name. So there's just little differences like that but you can probably figure it out. It should all be pretty much the same. And now more importantly than the network name is the password because this is the password you'll have to type in on your Chromebook to connect to your phone. So as you can see here on the Samsung one and probably some others, it actually just shows you the password right here. So at the moment, the password is example password so if you're happy to use that password, you can just remember that password and type it in on your Chromebook when we go ahead and connect the Chromebook. 
But if you don't like that and you want to change it, you can just tap configure again or maybe tap directly on the password and then delete what's in there and type a new password. The only restriction here is it has to be at least eight characters. So just type in any password you want to use that it's, that's at least eight characters and tap save. And now that is your hotspot password. But as you'll see over on the Pixel phone and quite a few other phones, it doesn't actually show you the password here. It's just a bunch of dots. So to see the password, you'll have to tap on the password like that. And now it's brought up the thing where you can change the password. And the default password is already in here. So if you want, you can just use this password and type that to sign into your Chromebook. But if you want to make it a more custom password, you can just delete this and type something else and tap OK. And now whatever you typed in there is your phone's hotspot password. So that's really all the setup there is to do. Now you can go ahead and tap this on switch at the top of the screen to turn the hotspot on. And now your phone will begin broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. So now you can go ahead and connect your Chromebook to it. But if you have an iPhone, not an Android phone, the process is a bit different. To set up the hotspot on an iPhone, you'll need to open up the settings app. So tap on the settings app here. And now in settings, you'll need to tap on personal hotspot down here near the top of the settings app. So tap on that. And on an iPhone, there's not really many settings to change because the network name, so the network name of the Wi-Fi network your phone is broadcasting is just your, the name of your phone, which is Timmy's iPhone or probably just your name and iPhone. So you can't really change that and you don't really need to. It's nice and easy. All you really need to look at is the Wi-Fi password. So this is the password that you will type in on your Chromebook when you go to connect it to your phone. So as you can see, the default password here is actually very long and you can't even see it all here. It cuts off the end. So you need to tap on this here and now you can see the entire password here. And you could just use this password if you want to. So you could type this into your Chromebook and connect to the hotspot, but it's really long and hard to type. So what you probably want to do is delete all of the password and then type something simpler. It has to be at least eight characters, but that's really the only rule. So to just type hotspot password, you should probably do something a bit better than that, but this will do for demonstration. And then just go ahead and tap done and your password will be saved. So now that's really all the setup there is to do. You can go ahead and tap this on switch to turn the hotspot on. And now your phone will be broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. So now whether you're using an Android phone or an iPhone, now that you've set up the hotspot and turned it on, you're ready to connect your Chromebook to it. So on your Chromebook, it's basically just like connecting to any other Wi-Fi network. All you need to do is click on the time in the bottom right hand corner down here. And this menu that appears might look like this, or it might be all scrunched up like this. But if it's scrunched up like this, you just need to click the up arrow here to expand it. And now in the top left hand corner of this menu, you should have your Wi-Fi options. And it would probably say not connected because you're currently not connected to any Wi-Fi networks. But you'll just need to click on the words that say not connected here. Don't click on the icon because that would just turn Wi-Fi off. Make sure you click on the words or the arrow or something down here like this. And now down here, you'll have a list of all the available Wi-Fi networks. So you just need to click on your phone, whatever you named it. So 
If it's an Android phone, it might be a custom name you've set, or it might just be the name of the phone or something like that. Or if it's an iPhone, it'll really just be your name iPhone, so Timmy's iPhone or something. But you should be able to find your phone in this list. There probably won't be too many Wi-Fi networks to choose from. So we'll click on Timmy's phone hotspot here. And now it will ask for the password. And this is the password that we just set in the phone settings. So go ahead and type that in. Timmy's password is other password 200. So we'll just type that. And then once you've typed that password, all you need to do is click connect. And assuming you've typed the correct password, your Chromebook will connect to it. So as you can see in the bottom right hand corner now, the Wi-Fi symbol has Wi-Fi signal. So that means your Chromebook is now connected to your phone's hotspot. So now you can browse the web and do whatever you want on the internet, all using your phone's internet connection. But once you've finished using your hotspot and you're not going to use it again for a while, you'll probably want to turn the hotspot off on your phone so that your phone stops broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. Because when the hotspot is on, your phone battery will often start to go flat pretty quickly because it uses a lot of power to create the hotspot. And while the hotspot's on, if someone near you guessed your hotspot password, they could actually connect to it and use up all of your mobile data without you even noticing. So you just want to come back into the settings on your phone, into the hotspot settings, and turn off the switch to turn the hotspot off. And now your hotspot will be off. So your phone will not be using any extra battery and your Chromebook will disconnect from it and no one will be able to connect to it until you turn it back on again. So that's all really cool. And now that you've got everything all set up, you can actually turn your hotspot on and off whenever you need it much more easily. On Android, when you're on the home screen like this, if you pull down from the top of the screen like that to get to your notifications, and then pull down again, just like that, to get to the quick settings menu, there should be an icon somewhere in this menu that will turn your hotspot on or off quite easily. So you might have to flick across or something to get to a different page to find the icon. And as you can see, again, different phones look quite different, but somewhere you should find a hotspot icon here and it's saying it's off. Or if we look for it here, there's a mobile hotspot option here. So the icon's a bit different and the wording's a bit different, but it's basically the same. You just come into this menu and find this icon, and then you can tap on it like that. And with one tap, your hotspot has been turned on. So now your Chromebook should automatically connect to it because it should remember your phone's Wi-Fi network, just like when you're connected to Wi-Fi at home and then you leave the house and then you come back again and it reconnects. It'll do the same here and connect to your phone's hotspot when it's on. And now you can use the hotspot again. And whenever you want to stop using it and turn it back off, you just come back into this menu again and tap on that same icon and it will turn off. And if you're on an iPhone, there's a similar shortcut there. You just need to bring up the quick access menu by either pulling down from the top left hand corner on a modern iPhone with a notch at the top of the screen, or on an older iPhone like this with a home button, you just pull up from the bottom of the screen like that. And now once you're in this quick access menu, there should be a squarish icon with a whole lot of connection icons like that, like your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and stuff. So you'll actually just need to press and hold down on that square. And now you have a personal hotspot option. So you can just tap that button and your hotspot will be turned on. So now just like Android, your Chromebook should recognize the hotspot 
and connect to it automatically, and now you can use it. And when you're done with your hotspot and you don't want it anymore, you just come back into this same menu and tap on that icon again, and the hotspot is turned off. So that's all there is to it. That's how you can connect your Chromebook to your phone's hotspot and have internet pretty much anywhere. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.